Imam Ali, he buries her and he leaves her in her grave, Zahra, once Haider. Alone and to it no stranger, she sleeps a bundle of roses. Shrouded by darkness of her grave, for her husband, Zahra, searches. She sees a light above the ground and Ali she recognizes. She calls his name and without a thought, he does not hear her grave she leaves. She calls his name, he walks away and her cries he does not answer in her grave, Zahra wants Haida. Left in the darkness of her grave, every memory she'd recall. They rise above her like roses and like arrows on her they fall. When once this lion would not sleep, if but a wound on her befell, she calls out his name in her pain. He does not come to soothe her call. She lies broken with wounds ridden. Silent remains Bedr's victor in her grave, Zahra once Haider. Trying to soothe her bleeding wounds, this broken rose turns to her side. She cries a sudden scream of pain on her broken rib. She recites, not a soul comes to comfort her. No lion and none of her pride. And she's taunted by a fetus, a voice that comes from her insides. You're crushing me. Mother, save me. Let me live to see my mother in her grave. Zahra wants Haider. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, living and breathing Fatimiyah. What does Fatimiyah actually mean to you? Is it a period of time where we mourn the martyrdom of Lady Zahra alayhi salam? Or is it a state of being? Is it something that we adopt or should adopt into our lives? What exactly does it mean to live and breathe Fatimiyah? A wonderful way to understand and implement the values of Fatimiyah is by looking at those individuals that rose up in support of Ahlul Bayt during those early days after the martyrdom of the Prophet. Of course, not many people did support Ahlul Bayt in those days, but there were some phenomenal Shias, companions, and I want to very briefly talk about two of the women who rose up to support Lady Fatima salam. The first lady was called Umm Ayman. And she was actually the woman who brought up the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, which is why she is often referred to as Baraka. She was one of the only handful of individuals who stood up for the rights of the Ahlul Bayt salam. Sheikh al Rabadi mentions that when Abu Bakr and Umar usurped the Khalifat from Amir al Mu'min, Umm um Ayman recited these incredible verses of poetry. Verily, with the passing away of Ahmad, Islam has become weakened, and all of the Muslims from amongst your ranks wept, and sorrows piled up with the assistance of the astray ones against the guide, the approved one, the generous, the the vicegerent of, of the Messenger of Allah, the foremost in Islam, the most learned amongst the worshippers who gave zakat in dirhams, the inferior ones tried to gain authority over the brother of Mustafa and snatch away the distinction of superiority. Furthermore, when Lady Fatima called for witnesses for Fedek, Umm Ayman confronted Abu Bakr and said, I will not bear witness until I make you, Abu Bakr, confirm my merits in the words of the Messenger of Allah, I ask you, in the name of Allah, did not the Prophet say that verily Umm Ayman is from amongst the women of paradise? Abu Bakr replied, yes, the Messenger said so. So Umm Ayman then said very clearly, I bear witness that Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a revelation to his Messenger saying, and give to the near of the kin their due. When this verse was revealed, the Prophet immediately gifted Fedek to Fatima. And yet, subhanAllah, Abu Bakr refused to accept the testimony of Umm Ayman. Moreover, Umm Salama, the wife of the Prophet, was outraged when she heard what Abu Bakr had done and she confronted him by saying, 
Should such words be uttered in regards to Fatima to Zahra السلام, the daughter of the Messenger of Allah, who by Allah is a heavenly woman from amongst the humans. She is the best and most distinguished of all women and the mother of the leaders of the youth of paradise. And she is parallel to Maryam. It was through her father that prophethood was sealed. Beware, the Prophet sees you and one day you will stand before Allah. Woe unto you. It is only then that you will see the results of your actions. Did you know what Abu Bakr did when Umm Salama said this? He cut her yearly rations for the year, all because she defended the daughter of the Prophet and for speaking the truth. It makes me wonder, my dear brothers and sisters, how far would we go for Fatima to Zahra السلام, Are we willing to really give up our sins or our sustenance for Lady Fatima Zahra? This is what it means to be Fatimiya. It is not lip service, but rather it is taking action to defend the rights of the Ahlul Bayt السلام, against those who want to oblit ob really obliterate their memory. A woman, a woman with broken petals yearns for the sight of her husband. She has not seen him for so long and heard Zahra every second. Could it be that he does not come when my absence to him is mentioned? Oh Lord, just let me hear his voice. Oh Lord, just let me hear his voice. With Ali's absence, I'm burdened. In his absence, Ali's silence becomes like her rib, her torture. In her grave, Zahra wants Haydar. You taught me, O oh Ali, in life. To cry your name with each burden. I've cried your name here in my death. How many times? But you don't come. You serve the neighbor and the poor. This is your wife. The wounds with wounds ridden. When I see you welcomes me joy. My joys left me with grief alone. I cried your name. No Ali came. I rest in my grave. A stranger in her grave. Zahra wants Haydar. I do not mind if you forget the moments where I made you smile or if you see the good I did as unimportant or little but O oh Haider, would you dare bear the pain of hearing me wail come and visit me in my grave heal the wound of the nail come and heal pain I feel my grave treats me as a stranger in her grave Zahra once Haider. She watches Ali leave her grave. She watches Ali leave her grave and upset Fatima becomes. Alone, tormented by her wounds, she lies a mother without sons. But when he leaves, she sees a light. It lights her grave to her, it comes. Ali, he leaves, but in her grave, his beloved Ali welcomes. He lights her tomb and soothes her wounds till times end they are together in her grave Zahra wants Haydar in her grave Zahra wants Haydar